16 of the top Little League baseball teams in the state of Michigan converged in Ishpeming today with the same goal in mind to win a state championship. Of the 16 teams in the field, three of them are from right here in the Upper Peninsula. One of those UP teams would be Sault Ste. Marie. They played a great game against Roosevelt Park from Muskegon. Bottom of the fifth, the Sioux trailing 6-5. Logan Bailey strikes out Roosevelt Park's Caden Brozema looking. And that was with the bases loaded. And that was important. Top six now. The Sioux needs a run to keep the game alive. And they get it as Bailey comes through with his bat this time. Hitting the ball to the wall. And that scored Alex Christian. And that tied the game at six. Then with the bases loaded and two outs, Avery tonight comes up with a clutch hit to center field. Two runs come across the plate. And the Sioux take an 8-6 lead on the big time hit by Avery tonight. To the bottom of the six, Roosevelt Park had the tie and run at the plate. But there is Logan Bailey once again closing the door on any kind of comeback by Roosevelt Park. And despite being down a run at their last at bat of the game, Sioux St. Marie comes back to stun Roosevelt Park tonight, 8-6. To to the scoreboards. Birmingham wins comfortably over Tecumseh 12-2 and Bay City shuts out Grand Rapids Southern 10 to nothing. We go back to the highlights as Portage Lake from the Copper Country battled Edwardsburg. Top half of the first, no score and a runner on third. The ball gets past the Edwardsburg catcher and Jackson Rocky would score to give Portage Lake a 1-0 lead. Still in the first with runners on second and third and two down, Ashton Janke. Hits one back up the middle, and that scored one run. Sam Kesemaki tries to score as well, but he was gunned down at the plate, and Portage Lake still led, though, to nothing. Bottom of the first, Edwardsburg strikes back. Nick Scritchford comes through with a bullet up the middle. Jarrett Teague scores from second, cutting the Portage Lake lead in half at 2-1. Bottom two now, Chase Kennedy with two aboard, and he hits it to short. Portage Lake would get just one out. As Kennedy beats the throw to first, he gets credit for an RBI, and the game was tied at two. In the third, Alex Nordstrom pitching for Portage Lake, and Alex, well, he'll make the play himself for the easy 1-3 put out. But the web gem of the day goes to Caden Goggins of Edwardsburg. Here's David Jukula for Portage Lake. He hits the ball to center and charging on the way. Goggins from center field throws out Jukula for your everyday 8-3 put out. Nice throw. This game needed extra innings, and it was Edwardsburg 3, Portage Lake 2 in 7 innings. Back to the boards, Ida Township held off Midland Northeast 8-6. to six. Taylor Northwest edged out Traverse City West by just a single run today, 3-2. Back to the action, another UP team, Iron Mountain, battled Gross Point Woods Shores early today. Top of the third, Chad Lorkowski, boy, that sounds like a baseball name, hits one down the third baseline and in the left field. That would score another run for Gross Point, and they led 8-1 to one after three innings. Now in the fourth, it's now 9-1 Gross Point. Antonio Mosseri hits it to short. Charlie Gerard throws from short to first for one out. Foster Nanders makes the catch and throws to third, where Nick Opolka was there for the grab and the tag to get your 6-3-5 double play. Still in the fourth, Gross Point leading 10-1. Tommy Maxey hits a big fly to left field, and yeah, that would carry over the fence for a two-out, two-run home dinger. That made it 12-1 Gross Point, and that would be the final score. And speaking of final scores from day one of the tournament, West Portage defeated Ypsilanti in the final game of the day by a final score of 10-0. Pool play in the Little League Baseball State Tournament continues through Sunday. The quarterfinals will be on Monday followed by the semifinals on Tuesday and the championship game on Wednesday. In 13 and 14 year old girls softball, Escanaba defeated Berger County twice tonight in the sectional tournament. Escanaba will head downstate to Claire for the state tournament beginning on Thursday.